guys, Deal here and welcome to another video. Today it's going to be a bit of a mismatch of stuff today because um, I've just sort of put together a video, sort of Christmas prep, because my granddaughter's coming down uh, to, with my daughter and, a, and my son-in-law um, to visit this Christmas. So I'm really excited about that. So what I've been doing is prepping the flat, doing things, because obviously when the baby's four, baby's four, four and a half months old she is, and... Um, they need lots of stuff to make them comfortable during their stay. So sort of getting stuff um, prepared for her, for her arrival. So that, that's really exciting. So got that to do and a bit of cleaning. So I thought I'd put a bit of cleaning on today. And I've also bought a couple of clothes from one of my local charity shops, which I'll show you in, one, uh, in the video. Um, I like to buy pre-loved clothes because a, I don't like fast fashion. I'm not a fan of fast fashion, um, only because I don't, it's nothing, sometimes if it's in fashion, I don't necessarily follow fashion. I don't um, always like what is in trend because it's just my personal taste really. So I tend to get all my clothes from charity shops, which if you wash them well, I don't think there's any problem with that really. And it help, also helps the charity shops or the thrift shops, if you're in America, call it a thrift shop, I think, um, then it, it helps the charity, it gives them money, you're buying yourself something, you're not wasting, um, it's cheaper, you're not wasting sort of resources, and you can often find really decent stuff. I mean, the cardigan I got on, it's not nothing special, but this one I bought new. I don't always buy stuff from charity shops, but... I'd say 90% of the time I do, um, and I'm quite pleased with what I've got. And I've still got stuff in the wardrobe from years ago. From I just like to wear what I like to wear. I don't care if it's not on trend. I don't care if I look. You know, I don't. I don't really. I'm not a conformist. Put it that way. No, I don't conform to what is the fashionable. And and let's face it, I'm not. I'm not in my 20s anymore, sadly. <laughs> like, double that now, but... Well, over double, but... I like to... I just like... I like clothes that look good on me. I like clothes that fit as well. So... Um, and I often see really good stuff. Because you know, I've got a Christmas party coming up soon. Works Christmas party. So, I've probably... I've seen a dress, actually. I've seen a really nice dress in one of the charity shops. And it's black and it's sort of got a, a sort of oh, how can I describe it sort of jacquard print um, and it's got a, like a beaded neck and it's really nice yeah, I think it's about 16 pounds which is quite a lot for me to pay in a charity shop but it's really nice so if they still got it tomorrow I might pop in and get it um, because I think that would look really nice because you, you've always got to have a a little black dress in the wardrobe haven't you in my case not that, that little <laughs> um so yeah i might get that i might get that tomorrow but exciting exciting leading up to christmas i mean we're in november now i'm not quite ready to start putting the trees and lights up and stuff at the moment but i will video it when i do um so yeah so lots going on so i hope you enjoy the video it is a bit of a mismatch as i said but um see what you think enjoy. so i'm going to prepare some lemon linguine creamy lemon linguine with mushrooms the parsley i'm using here has been grown in the allotment um it's growing vegetables at the moment grown some little carrots as well which i'll show you in a bit I didn't grow these mushrooms, um, the mushrooms are from the supermarket, but I'm just going to slice these up and we're going to make a lemon linguine.
I'm so sick of waiting and getting too restless to be in this dusty town. I've heard of this place where people forget and you get another try. off um, some garlic a clove of garlic and some shallots in um, some salt and pepper and then I'm going to add the lemon juice and some um, plant cream or cream if you're use, using um, whatever cream we're using um, into the mix um, I haven't got any white wine you may not add white wine and and burn down reduce down the alcohol but I've only got rum so I'm, <laughs> so I'm putting some white rum in there um, as of the alcohol substitute because I haven't got any white wine.
have to spend a moment talking about um, Shark and, and their excellent customer service. This um, actual vacuum cleaner, it's not, it's identical to the one I had before, but this is the new one um, because what happened is that the old one that I had for less than a year, I think, or about a year, it, it stopped working. So went to Shark and run customer services and they're very, very helpful. And we ended up taking it back to the shop and we got replaced with a brand new vacuum cleaner. Um, no quibbles, you know, we just had to make sure that they knew that we'd purchased the vacuum cleaner and they replaced it with a, a brand new identical one. So, so far so good with this one, but I must say I have to sing a shock customer service praises. Um, this particular model has got a five year guarantee, which is excellent. Um, and with the guarantee, it just gives you peace of mind. So if you're buying something, you really want that peace of mind um, on a vacuum cleaner. So yeah, I, I just like to, to recommend their customer service in, in, in my case. This little dolly here, I bought these, uh, bought a couple of these little fairies for Christmas. Um, one's for me, this white one I bought for myself. Um, they, they do look odd, but I got these from the range. Um, now, the, ling the wings light up. Um, you've got a little switch inside, which makes their wings light up. Um, I've got the little pink one here. This is for my granddaughter when she, as she gets older she's living in Sweden at the moment but if they ever move over back to the UK then um, my granddaughter can have this little doll in her bedroom obviously she's too young for it at the moment but I just thought these were lovely and I thought we'd get two of them this one actually lights up because it's got the batteries in the back and her wings do glow up but the white one certain member of the canine family got chewed up um, my one started chewing the batch which is quite dangerous for for the dog tried to get the batteries out of my one so now he's busted it and i i cannot the wings don't light up now on my one because wilson has chewed um well severed the cable basically in the back so this is a little uh, bit at the back that he he got to so mine doesn't work but this one does light up and they are really cute. But um, I'm not happy that Wilson started to think that the doll was his. Uh, he leaves it alone now, but he tends to do this. If you get something new, he'll think it's for him and he'll start to chew it. And then, then I tell him off and then, he, then he's like, as you can see, he's like, who me? I'm totally innocent. I'm totally innocent. I'm just gonna sit here and pretend that I never done anything. Because of course, I would never do that, would I? Just like a fool for you, for you Wish I knew just what it was But why should I make a fuss Just stay next to me, girl Next to me, girl Something special, don't know why Something special that I like about you About you There's a mystery entwined Something bigger to define about you About you Am I the only one to see? Now, 
I bought these for my granddaughter. She's coming over soon. I can't wait. Um, this is a play mat. Um, it's virtually new. It's pre-loved, second hand, but it's virtually new. And I mean, this would have been £45 if you'd bought it in the shop. Um, and I think paid £10 for it. And I'm going to give it a wash and sanitise. Um, and it's absolutely perfect for her. Um, it's got little farm an animals on it. It's got a little cow and a, a donkey, I think it is, and a sh sheep or something, something like that. But it's got all little animals on it. So I think it'll be perfect for her. She'll be able to lay there and look at the animals and the mirror and um, all the li little different toys there. So it should keep her amused for about five minutes. <laughs> um, so I think it's an absolute bargain. I mean, if you can buy second hand buy second hand because you know if you can i mean some things you have to you have to buy new but most things you can probably buy second hand this again these need washing uh, i'm going to wash them in hot water sanitize things like that and and the cover is removable this is a bouncy chair um it's actually got music on it and it's also a vibrating chair got this second hand as well I think these retail probably between 30 and 45 pounds um, in the shops and I paid I think it was 10 pounds again for this it's hardly been used again and the cover is removable um, I'm just playing the tunes here it's got a little a little tunes um, on it just plays a little sort of lullaby or nursery rhyme and and it vibrates so hopefully my little granddaughter will like this and again, hopefully <laughs> keep her quiet for a little while. Um, and it's got the bar over so she can look at the, the various bits and pieces on there. I mean, I, and again, babies aren't in these things long. And sometimes, I mean, I bought, used to buy all my stuff secondhand for my children because I didn't have any money to buy them new stuff. Um, so I bought secondhand stuff. But as you can see, the cover here is removable. So it's perfect. Well, sadly, um, autumn will uh, be coming to an end soon and all these beautiful orange and yellow and green leaves will be coming down and, and all will be left as a skeleton of the trees. And the frost is going to start coming down and we're going to start putting up Christmas lights and things like that. But at the moment, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not willing to get rid of or let go of all um, autumn. But my future videos will probably be more Christmas related as we get into the December month um, we're putting the tree up getting some lights up I mean I'm a big fan of fairy lights so it's gonna be you know I'm quite happy to put some fairy lights up but autumn at the moment I'm just gonna make the most of what's left of the autumn the crunch of the leaves and you know it's pretty mild for the time of year at the moment but the frost gonna come the frost will come and then it'll be scraping your windscreens again but for the time being autumn's here um, and i'm going to savor it for a while but i hope you enjoyed this video i know it's been a bit of a mismatch of different things but sometimes that makes it more interesting just have a variety so yeah join me next time on on one of my videos and if you like the video please like and if you want to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any videos then please feel free to do so and until next time i'll see you later <music>
Just wanna love you, just wanna hold you 